Yeah, we're excited about the opportunity. Um, you know, our team has gotten better um, over a month. I think the kids have really locked in and bought into the uh, game plans, and uh, you're seeing us execute those. Uh, but we understand the competition that awaits. Um, you know, great opportunity for the fans of Youngstown State uh, to watch this team. You know, you got five games in nine days, a lot of basketball. We're going to need all our players ready. Um, you know, it's basically play a game, walk through, uh, play another game, walk through, play another game. So good opportunity to keep moving up in the standings, um, but know that we've got some really good competition coming inside to Beagley. We're the team in the league right now in the fourth grade. Are we? You know, Dana, what I try to do is just take it day by day. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm proud of our guys. You know, we've overcome a lot uh, all season long with, uh, you know, losing Garrett, losing Luke, um, losing a lot of heartbreakers early. This team is uh, very resilient. Uh, they're very, um, you know, together. Um, and they're willing listeners and willing learners. And I think our group's gotten better. I don't want to say the, the, the tournament begins, but these are more I think so. You know, when's the last time that, uh, you know, Youngstown State's had a, had a chance uh, in the men's basketball to have three winning seasons in a row? Um, you know, you have to go back and look a long, long time. Uh, so I credit our, our staff. Uh, I credit our managers, the administration. But, but most importantly, I credit our players. Um, you know, the guys that have come in from day one, uh, they've really bought into what uh, we're trying to build here. Um, so you got a chance to to do a, a do something I think that it hasn't been done here uh, ever. Um, you know we've got some big goals as a team, but we're going to take it day by day. We had a great practice yesterday. Um, we need to have a good workout this afternoon and then get off our feet. Make sure we're taking care of our bodies um, and make sure we're staying healthy because we're playing a great Oakland team, team that's very very well coached. Uh, potentially two All League players, potentially maybe a Player of the Year. Um, I think one of the most improved players in our conference in Trey Towson, uh, X Factor and Blake Lampman. Um, and they're really, really good. You know, they're, they've been good all season long. And then you play a Detroit team that uh, is very, very talented, um, you know, right there at the top of the standings. Um, another player of the year candidate, if not, uh, you know, one of the best players and scorers in the country in Antoine Davis. And then you're playing on Sunday one of the hottest teams in Robert Morris, a team that's uh, Andy's really rallied his team. He's a great coach. There's a reason that they've invested in their program, and Coach Tool I have a lot of respect for. And uh, so it's it's going to be a challenging week, uh, but we've got an opportunity to do some things here that haven't been done. I mean, just not a lot of sleep, Joel. You know, just of. You know, I think uh, the biggest thing I try to do is give our guys some some ingredients to the game, right? Try to break down our opponent and get them to understand how you beat each opponent. Um, and each opponent's different. You know, each each opponent presents a different challenge. The the tough part about our league is you play so many games in a short period of time, so you don't have a lot of prep time. Um, that can be pretty difficult uh, on a staff, and but more importantly on our players. So you don't want to overcomplicate things. Uh, I think sometimes uh, less is better, um, but every team is different. So there's a you know there's going to be three different scouting reports. The players are different, um, but you know I've really tried to concentrate on our guys. You know what where are our guys um, at mentally, where are our guys at physically. Try to evaluate that. Um, and really try to help them, uh, you know, throughout the game uh, the best I can. Your first two, Oakland and Detroit, are, are a boss. I know each team is important this year. And I circle those because you got to, you know, go up above them. Yeah, you know, the, the weird part is, uh, you know, we didn't get to face Detroit the first time. Um, so this late in a season – not um, having a previous tape on them, that will present a challenge uh, in itself for them as well with us. Um, but, you know, as we told the guys on the last trip, every game, Dana, is that important. It doesn't really matter if you're playing UICRUPY. Now, this time of year, every game does get magnified because there's only so many left. You know, we've got seven games left, five at home. Um, 
you know, so every game is is just gets that much more important when you're trying to get in that top four. Um, and really, outside of the top four, you're just trying to play great basketball. Um, this time of year in February, it's something we've been able to do here and really all my stops, um, just try to stay in the moment, you know, stay present, um, but get better. And how are you ready for the games? you got to get ready in practice. You know, I know that sounds pretty – uh, boring and cliche, but if you have good practices, you're going to be feel confident. You're going to be prepared, and you'll be able to ca carry out that game plan. Um, you know, with these uh, three teams, um, they're all different. You know, some play man, some play zone. The personnel is different. It's just a lot of games. You know, hopefully next year we'll be playing 20 games. Schedule will be Thursday, Saturday. You won't have um, weeks like this where you're playing three conference opponents in uh, five days. Um, you know, I'm not a big proponent of that. Well, they just, they're going to play a 1-3-1 a one, one morphing zone. Um, it's a tandem look. Uh, they're going to put 6-8 on the, on, the, on the ball. They're going to put 6-8 uh, in the middle. They're going to have great length on the wings. They're going to try to not let you throw the ball to the corner. Um, you know, they do a lot of good things out of their zone. Um, I think it's really um, – caused a lot of problems, not for us, but for everybody. You know, you saw them uh, beat Oklahoma State. I mean, their non-conference uh, schedule was was tremendous, and they took care of business. Um, so their zone gives you a lot of problems with their length, and then some of their philosophies are a little bit different than a traditional 1-3-1. One, one. Um, they do a lot of different things, a lot of passing uh, on the drive, that sort of thing that's really good. I, Dan, I think it's everything. Um, you know, I think it's huge. Um, all the best programs in our league traditionally over the last 10 or 15 years. Um, Oakland, great, great uh, student section. Wright State, you saw their game the other night on TV, phenomenal. Um, you know, Northern Kentucky, phenomenal uh, student section. Some of the other venues we've been at, uh, you know, Milwaukee this year has done a great job. Um, so I think creating that atmosphere with your student body, I think that's where it starts. Um, but I think the general public can really help us also. You know, these are um, – Real meaningful games, uh, really, really impactful games that will impact, um, you know, where we finish up in this league and do we finish top four? Do we get that first round by? Um, you know, we've got 14 wins right now. We're two games above uh, 500, eight and six in the standings. There's a lot at stake. You know, you got a chance to punch your ticket for a postseason tournament. Uh, at this level, the CIT and the CBI, uh, those are really, really, uh, you know, really important for the development of our program. Uh, so we want to be able to punch our ticket for one of those. Uh, and then we want more. Uh, you know, the ultimate goal is to get to the NCAA tournament, something that's never been done here. But I think you have to celebrate um, winning seasons. You know, I think it's really, really hard. And it's only been done one other time in the history of our program at the Division One level. So um, our guys understand what's at stake, Dana. They want to be part of history. Uh, we want to change the trajectory of our program. We want to continue to build on what we've been doing here and take it to another level. So how do you do that? Uh, you got to have the fans and you got to have that rowdy crowd uh, behind you. Um, you know, two years ago, pre-COVID, we played NKU Wright State here in our building, and there was four or five thousand fans. I mean, you were here, you saw it. They were, you know, lined up out the door. Um, weather, I think, has played a big part of a lot of the, you know, the basketball this year, and then certainly the pandemic we're in. Um, but I think we've done it safely, and I think we can do it uh, the next five games. So uh, I'm hoping for some big crowds. Our players, our staff, our managers will all be out this week, really pushing this game to the student body, encouraging them to come. A lot of good giveaways, a lot of different things that our marketing team has done. Um, so hopefully it'll be really good.